hi guys i hope you had a lovely day and i hope you're all doing great so today i'm going to share with you how i made this diy for my kitchen and uh, so these are the materials that i used i had uh, this photo frame that i got from pep only 26.99 and i really like the design of the frame itself and this is the fabric that i used this beautiful blue shoshue print fabric you also need a fork, a spoon, and a butter knife. And of course, you need a scissors to cut your fabric. You also need a glue gun and some glue sticks. And some spray paint to spray paint the frame and the spoons. And some thread. So the first thing that I did was to open up my frame and then I went to the back of the frame and then I removed the back cover of the photo frame and then I just put it aside. So the frame actually had a glass which I had not noticed before but so I just put that away I don't know maybe I'm going to use it for another project I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for then I now took my cutlery and the frame and then so you need to protect the surface that you're working on if you're going to be using spray paint just make sure that you are using it in a well ventilated area so I was doing this right in front of a window and my windows were wide open and then I just went ahead and then I started spray painting the frame and the cutlery. So you need to give it time to dry. So at that point my things were dry and then I just took everything out and then I put it aside then I went to that uh, wooden back of the frame so it didn't have walls like in case you need to hang it on the wall I had to attach that thread so that I can be able to hang it on the wall as well so I just pierced two holes at the back and then I inserted the thread and then I tied it. After that, I now went on to my fabric and then I used that uh, photo frame back to trace the exact size. And then I just cut it out with a pair of scissors. now took my glue gun and then I started to glue it and then I now put it back onto the frame
I was just putting my cutlery, I was just arranging it to try and see how it's all going to fit and like trying to decide where exactly I'm going to put it before I actually glued it down. Then I just went ahead and then I glued it down with some hot glue. So this is the end product that we have so let me know if you are going to be trying out this DIY it's like so easy you guys and it took me like about an hour or so it doesn't take that much time at all so let me know if you'll be trying it out if you do try it out please share with me your results on Facebook or on Instagram I'd really like to see how that goes for you Thank you so much for watching this DIY and I'm going to see you in the next video. Most probably the day after tomorrow. That's when I'm going to be uploading a new video. So don't forget to check that out. Bye.